Well, Gigi, the season is underway and it starts with a win on the road. Yeah, finally it's on the way. Uh, on the, on the, on the started really well. Um, we made it hard for ourselves. I mean, I think everyone was blowing a bit, but it was really good. It was really fun. Um, I think we, we're in a good space. You know, I think we can only improve from here, which is nice. Um, getting a away win first game, I think that's that's nice. It builds a lot of character too. Um, we made it hard for ourselves. A few big mistakes in the end, um, but not too bad. Not too bad. I'm, I'm quite happy with everyone's performance, and I think we can all just go better. You know, we can all just do way better. So, well, you seem very very calm um, at halftime. The Gloucester supporters who were here in the stand uh, were, were not quite so calm. What was said at halftime in the change room? I think, like, I mean, in the first half they did throw almost everything they had at us, you know, and we um, we only ten points down, I think, if I can remember correctly, um, which is good, which is, you know, I mean, we, we didn't have much of the ball, you know, we defended, I think we defended really well, we gave away a few silly penalties, um, but we we stuck in there and we kind of knew there will be a time when we get the ball and we can do what they did to us in the first half, you know, we can basically inflict the same thing, so... Um, that's what we did. Um, some few calls go your way. Sometimes you get lucky, and I mean, we, we got a away win, which is which is amazing. You know, it doesn't matter. No one to remember how you win it. Just you win it. You know. So yeah. From a lineup point of view, we were saying that in the first half, Gloucester's lineup seemed to function well and disrupted sales quite efficiently. Yeah, we um, we addressed it quite a lot during the preseason, especially with uh, our preseason games. We didn't really defend the malls really well. Um, we struggled a bit with getting bodies up in the air. So we worked on it a bit this week. Um, and you'll never be happy, you know what I mean? You'll never be happy with what you do. You always want to go and improve. So um, as long as everyone buys in, you know, I think it could be a great season. Two fantastic tries and a bit of rub of the green at the end. Yes, very nice. Something like that, you know, like, I mean, it comes down to a kick. I mean, it could go both ways. Um, you know, I'm lucky to Robert, you know, I mean, things like that does happen, you know, I mean, and I could like, I mean, putting all that pressure on a kicker, it's tough, you know, I mean, and uh, he's a strong guy. And I just, you know, I mean, from my side, I just want to say good luck, you know, I mean, that's that's something that, you know, it's, it's almost like when a goalie lets a goal through, you know, it's tough, you know, it's one of those, they blame him, but I mean, it happens. Uh, interesting you say, uh, tough luck on, on Robert there. That must have been one of those games, plenty of uh, South African compatriots out there. Yeah. You must have known what was coming pretty well. Yeah, it was quite a bit of Afrikaans every now and then on the field from uh, some of them. Um, but yeah, I know quite a few of them. Um, haven't really played much with them, but against them, a guy like John Ross used to be in Paris. When I was in Paris, we played against each other. Um, and yeah, we just, just seem to always bump heads somewhere. So, uh, but yeah, all, all of them nice characters. And um, yeah, it all just doesn't really matter where you're from. I mean, it's a premiership, it's really tough. So, I mean, we just got to hang in there.